Hi, my name is Bob Cunha, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So we are looking at the recall application that comes with the Series 2 mass spectrometer, and this is for the second of testing of the thunderstorm build here in Santa Cruz. And what you see here across here is the full sort of start of the day. I've got the um, logarithmic scale set so that nitrogen is in view, uh, so we see uh, big changes. And this is the time it takes often for the RGA to get to a stable state. You have to allow two and a half hours or so for it to get to a steady state. And uh, this was fiddling around with uh, positioning the probe. And then here we have the first turn on of the thunderstorm generator there. And then you can see here, this was the addition of the 1.5 kilowatt heater load and so forth. And so what you can see down here is the clean uh, air here in Santa Cruz. Okay, and as we go through, uh, we notice that when uh, I think the key lines here are up here, this is mass 28 nitrogen, so that's mass 28 nitrogen there. The oxygen here, O2, so that's N2, that's O2, that's this line, then the uh, dark blue here, okay, uh, is basically non-existent. <laughs> it's that this net nitrogen fourteen here, um, but there's this other one, this lighter blue here, which is actually carbon, and the hydrogen over there. Okay, so when the device is um, turned on uh, here, you get a, an initial kick up uh, often with the other HCs somewhere here. Actually, you don't really when it's um, uh, not on load, uh, but when you turn it off, you do because it basically has a little bit going through the exhaust at that point. Um, but when you have the heater on, you do see this little bit of hydrogen here. So the hydrogen is the black, and you do see this little bit of carbon here. They're very, very low concentrations, bearing in mind this is a logarithmic scale. So this is very low concentrations, even though it is there. But even when it's under load, unlike when uh, there was no thunderstorm generator attached, you do not see any unburnt uh, fractions of hydrocarbons. Now, given the fact there is some carbon there, um, and we're also seeing some hot hydrogen here, um, it's almost like a remaining HC is coming through and it's being split into hydrogen and carbon. So, one might think there is some hydrocarbons coming through, otherwise you wouldn't see that H and C there. So that is the uh, thought. Um, but the one thing that is absolutely certain is that even with the thunderstorm generator, you are still seeing mass 44, which is carbon dioxide. There it is, that is carbon dioxide there. Okay, now the difference in the peak between here and here and here is the positioning of the sensor. So if we move the sensor in a different position, it gets a different mix, but in all cases, there's CO2. And, and in all cases, there is CO2. Uh, you just can't, um, concentrate CO2 from 0.04 percent or whatever it is in the atmosphere and make uh, these levels of concentration. Um, that's just not possible. It is possible to dilute gases like 
uh, nitrogen and CO2 with extra oxygen and so forth, and that's effectively what you're seeing here. Um, but it's mainly because of the different position of the probe. But carbon dioxide is there uh, without a shadow of a doubt. So what does that mean? Well, it means it would appear that the device is cleaner burning because you don't have these fractions here. So here, this is just running and this is with the load on, okay? And you don't see any HCs down the bottom except when you turn it off. So I'm gonna turn it off somewhere here. You don't really see it there. There, it's turned off at that point, so you see it. And here it gets turned off, so you get to see it for a fraction of a time there. I'll zoom into this. So we, what we do is we go here, and we change the timeline to, say, one hour. And then when we pan through this, we get a much higher resolution on the actual experimental areas. So if I put this in frame and we come along here and we are turning on for the first time, there's a little blip there, okay? Comes down, a couple of moments of some hydrogen coming in and then we turn off, boom, that's all your unburnt hydrocarbons. When you turn off the spark plug's not working, it's just a bit of fuel that's worked its way through the system. Uh, and again, when boom, when it's turned off there and here it goes on again very small momentary thing there. And this is running without the heater attached. Then the heater gets attached. And you can see how that affects the various gases there. Okay. Heater attached. Uh, I guess the heater switched off at this point. Um, it obviously got up to temperature. Maybe it had five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes. And then it turns back on to get up to temperature. And as we come over here, uh, it's turned on a little bit of bouncing up and down there with some hydrogen down here. Um, no carbon. And then a little bit further on, there's another series of experiments over here kind of re repetition okay so turns on there's a little spike there no load and then over here load turns on here and uh, you get the carbon and hydrogen there so it is the lighter blue is mass 12 and then the um, black line here is hydrogen. So thank you very much for your time. And I will see you in the next video. So this is the whole so this period is just the mass spectrometer getting a baseline on the atmosphere, warming up and uh, getting stabilized. This is the stabilized thing level. This is the adjusting the sensor. And then here, the TSG was turned on for the first time with its attachment here, boom. There we go, just idling, turned off. As it gets turned off, you see these unburnt hydrocarbon fractions come over here, turned off again, same story. Here, turned on, okay, little bump up of the hydrogen and here, this blue line, mass. 12 and you can see there it is mass 12 we go over here no mass 12 go over here mass 12 then here the 
1.5 kilowatt heater was turned on and it goes boom. You can see the hydrogen coming in down here. And you can also see here that the mass 12 goes up a little bit, boom, a little bit up. And then the heater turns off or it's turned itself off because it's reached temperature and then it turns back on again. Okay. You can see here actually that when the heater turns on and it's on load, the carbon dioxide drops a little bit, um, which is interesting. Flow rate issue, something like that. Um, anyhow, and go through here, over here, and this was a test, not entirely sure what that test was. I wasn't there, Alan and Phil was doing that and we're doing that. And here, boom, it's on a bit. And then it gets turned off there. There's your unburnt hydrocarbons. And over here, turns on, heater on, and they're off. The most important thing is we are not seeing or smelling even with our noses unburnt hydrocarbons. So for me, that is a huge win, but there is definitely CO2. There it is. It's CO2 is up there. Okay. Well, I just load in so if you, uh, the, the highest CO2 fraction here uh, is what, it's in this last experiment area, and it's 9.37, okay? And oxygen is, uh, so it's 9.37, to the zero, whereas oxygen is 4.33 to the one, okay? So that's like a lot more than the carbon dioxide. Let's go and see, so that is, if, if we say that's one, this is 4.33, okay? So a lot more oxygen than carbon dioxide. So let's go and see what this one has, relatively speaking, where we have this running with the load on it. Have we got the load on there? Yeah, so we've got the load here. And you can see the unburnt hydrocarbons here. So I'll do the same here. I'll change this so it's got a longer sweep. Hours. Okay, get a better idea. Put that down there. Okay, that's interesting. It's actually behind. I wonder if we can get those on the same page. Yeah, let's get those on the same page. Might be confusing. Oh, it's not showing it. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> so, um, I will put this to the same sensitivity. So I need to change that to two. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Two. And here, the carbon dioxide is actually 4.8 to the plus one. 4.8 to the plus one. And the, that's interesting. 4.8 to the plus one. So it is quite significantly larger. 
the oxygen is 1.67 to the plus one. So that's actually down. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's compare these two. So I've got them roughly in the same area. Okay. All right. Let me get the. Uh, I'm going to put just the same things up here. So we do want mass two. We don't want mass four. We don't want. We do want 12, 14, 15, 16. Don't need 17. We do want 28. We do want 32. And we do want 44. Okay. Right, so they are like for like. And what we can see is when this is running with the TSG and we have the heater on, this is addition of 1.5 kilowatt heater. Um, here, and we put that 1.5 kilowatt heater on. The CO2 is 4.5 to the plus one. When the heater is on here, it's 9.48 to the plus zero. So this is four and a half times the amount of carbon dioxide in this particular detected stream compared to the stock react, um, generator. And here, the oxygen is, so the oxygen here is only 1.5 to the plus one. The oxygen here is 4.47 to the plus one. Okay. Hmm. The oxygen is 2.41 to the plus zero. And here the oxygen is 4.09 to the plus zero. How does that XX 2.42? Hmm. Something to think about. Interestingly, 5.97, and here is oxygen is 5.48. They're pretty much the same on the oxygen. They're pretty much the same on the nitrogen when it's not running. What about when the heater's not on? The heater comes on there. Let's get the timeline the same. This is one hour. Let's make that a one hour. And we'll make that one to one hour. So I'll swap those around because the you know, this is the before, this is the control, and this is the active run with the thunderstorm generator. Okay. It does on the face of this look like the what's the nitrogen there? The nitrogen is 4.07 to the plus two, and here it is 
two point is still in the same order of magnitude. So that's with the heater on. And this is with the heater on. So let me arrange this so we've got this one here. So we can see that. We've got this one here. course you can have a look at the raw data but that is with the heater on and so is that and you can visually see here the carbon is lower Hydrogen is lower, there's no hydrocarbons unburnt, or at least detectable. But when it's switched off, yeah, it's tough because we were effectively diluting with the Bernoulli stream and we couldn't test it beyond that. It was mixing oxygen in here. So it's still got CO2, but it's quite a lot lower. 9.34 to the zero, and this is basically five times as much. <laughs> it's mixing the flow. Is it mixing it that much? Damn, wish we had it running. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.